I am Bill Cortright with Living Right with Bill Cortright. And this is the Stress Mastery Podcast, where we take you from the science to the spirituality of stress mastery. Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Stress Mastery Podcast. I am your host, Bill Cortright. This week, our topic is perspective. And today's Setup Sunday, I am discussing perception has a focus. Perspective is defined as a particular attitude toward or a way of regarding something. Perspective is a point of view. Perception is the act of perceiving by the means of the senses or the mind. This is a way of understanding or interpreting something. It's a mental impression. Perception and perspective can be held by the ego. When this happens, the perception is held in mind in the state of restriction. Base energy fear, the identity is an event, judgment, and reaction. Or perception and perspective can be held by the true self, you. Here, perception is witnessed in the mind. And this brings you into the state of expansion, base energy courage. The identity is an event, awareness, and response. If the perception is in the perspective of the ego, in the red zone, your behavior will be to defend and attack. You will want to impose your will. If the perception is perceived by the true self and you're in the green zone, behavior is in the ability to understand how the situation is in objective reality and how another person is reacting. In other words, their perspective, their subjective reality. And in this state, you are responding and letting go. Perception is set through perspective. Perspective is the point of view held in one's mind. Now, perception is the individual's subjective reality. This is how they are perceiving, seeing, interacting with the outside world. Perception is an interesting human faculty because we all have perception. The programmed identity held in mind, which initially was set for you, sets your reality through the perception held. Yet, this reality is set through shared illusions from the tribe. It is set through belief systems shrouded by history to serve the tribe and the culture you were born into. The programmed identity, ego, reinforces the perception held in mind, yet perception is not truth. And sometimes perception is a lie. If you're one of the many seeking to discover truth, especially as humanity shifts in this third wave transition to a connection information society, then listen closely on perception. Perception has a focus. This focus is held in a belief. Every belief is a program. This is held in the subconscious mind of the cage mind. Perception sets your state in your subjective reality. This is your inner world, and this is set through a fixed belief system. This is set in the state of restriction, base energy, fear. The perspective, and let me step back for a second. It's set in the state of restriction, base energy, fear, because it's set within the comfort zone of the subconscious mind. And the perspective of this reality set is played out in the identity of event, judgment, and reaction. It's played out through the ego. The perception held in mind has this focus. The focus is whatever is happening or taking place in the outer world, the objective reality, it's wrong, you're not happy, you believe you're right, they're wrong, this will create a focus held in mind. 
It may be it's not what you expect. It doesn't meet your expectations or what should be. And it may just be what you don't want. So you, when this happens and the outside world, the objective reality goes against your perception, your inner reality, you impose your will. You either fight, argue, complain against what is happening, or you impose your will to run away and you repress what is happening and you avoid conflict. The bottom line, though, and this is important, perception is not reality. But perception has a focus. And if your state is stuck in the valley red zone, your focus is then in fear. And perception is your reality. Nobody can tell you it's not your reality. It's how you're seeing the world. The challenge is, and the challenge that all humanity faces today is that the reality we were programmed to perceive as children, no longer exists. This reality we were programmed into doesn't exist in today's objective reality of the way the world is. Everything is changing too fast. And because very few understand the core essence of stress mastery, which is understanding the function and operation of the human being, People are stuck in a perceived reality that does not match the changes in the objective reality. They're stuck in an inner world, in their mind, their perception that doesn't align with what is currently happening in the outer world. Thus, people are stuck in conflict. Humanity is stuck in the state of restriction, base energy, fear. And you can see it. Fear, that mid zone, red zone energy. Fear creates anxiety. It's what creates procrastination. It's what creates panic. It's what creates doubt. It's what creates worry. That's what creates resistance. And the state of this state of restriction, base energy, fear. This perception sets the individual in judgment and reaction. They don't like what they see. They don't see the truth. They're seeing through a lens. And we try, when that happens, we try to fix the world. We create a cancel society. We get rid of books. We don't want to say this or say that. And all of this pushes a new agenda. And yes, this new agenda is stemming from a new perception. And the question always is, with a new agenda, is it stemming from truth or is it just another perception? And it's easy. We are swinging in today's world. We are swinging the pendulum. This is good. This is bad. This is bad. This is good. And we're going from the perceived bad to the new perceived good. And it's it, it's just a pendulum swing. And what it's doing is, it's creating all the chaos that we see in today's world. Now, I don't profess to have the answers, but I ask you, each of you listening, to just slow down a moment and move into reflection. Perception has a focus. And we hear this all the time in politics and business, even in relationships. Anytime there's a disagreement or a conflict, they, people will say, oh, perception is reality. This, this statement ties to it is what it is. This is used to justify a perception that may be unjustifiable or just plain out of touch with objective reality. It's defending a belief system. It is what it is, what it is. It is what it is. I'll get it out. It is what it is. Statement is justifying one's perception against another, another's point of view. See, seeking truth, this is a very different journey. Seeking truth, climbing your mountain, this is a journey full of conflict. Because an absolute sense of reality can only be attained by perceptional 
flexibility. In other words, letting go of your perceived reality, letting go of your perspective, letting go and moving into the state of expansion, base energy, courage, and allowing the 250 neutrality energy to come into play. Here you execute perception flexibility. Yet always remember, perception has a focus, but it is not objective reality. Perception has a focus that sets your subjective reality, but it is not your you know, I'm sorry, it is yours, but it's not objective reality. If you have a perception of what you believe should be, and the objective reality doesn't align with that, who's right, you or what is happening? You see, you can't change what is happening. It is your idea of reality, what really should be, but it's not true reality. If you are in thought and you are thinking, you are in the focus of your perception. And again, the definition of perception is the way of regarding, understanding, or interpreting something. It's a mental impression. That's a perception. Yet, the definition of reality, the world or state of things, as they actually exist, existence that is absolute or objective and not subject to human decisions. That's reality. Can you see how perception and your subjective reality doesn't match the, the real truth of reality? Perception is your perspective. Perception is set through your programs held in mind. And this sets the lens through how you perceive reality. Our perceptions are what sets our life. This is very important. Our perceptions influence what we focus on. Our perceptions interpret the world. Our perceptions help us to remember the past. Our perceptions help us understand what we believe and decide about and how we act on reality. And all of this is held together in your routine. And this routine, which is driven from the programmed identity, the ego, is how you perceive reality. It's how you perceive reality is, but it's not. The challenge every person has is that reality held through mind sets a lens of the world that is warped. This programming is set from the tribe, the culture, past experiences, prior knowledge, emotions, preconceived notions, self-interest. This all creates cognitive distortion. We are experiencing reality through our senses, and this is being driven by the ego. So perception has a focus. My question to you would be this. What is your focus? If you're focused on what you want, your focus will be in high red zone energies. You will feel frustrated. You will get upset and become opinionated why you don't have what you want. Your perception is lack. Your reality will be held in lack. Now, if you have to listen to that again, listen to it again, because that's the way life works. If your focus is in worry, you're worried about what might happen, your focus is in the mid-red zone fear, and you will feel anxious. Your perception is fear, and your reality will be in what you fear. You'll consistently be bringing this into your reality. Now, if your focus is can't or discouraged, your focus will be in low red zone energy. You will feel depressed. Your perception is in apathy and your reality will appear hopeless. There's no way out or no way to get what I desire. You see, your perception held in mind is what's 
build your reality. That's the life you currently live. To change your life and to change any aspect in your life, anything you want to change, any type of change or growth, you must change your subjective reality. You must let go of your perceptions. Now, to let go of perception, number one, realize your perception are not reality. Your perceptions are not reality. They are what you believe reality is or should be or what you want reality to be. Now, if you're activated in conflict and you're upset, you're overwhelmed, you feel that activation, you're stressed out, this is reality distortion. You must let this go. Let it go. Number two, if you want to change your perception, be respectful of others' perceptions. If you feel you must impose your will on another to change the way they see the world, to change their mind, to change what they believe, or you feel you have to defend yourself on your actions and what you're doing, your perception, it's reality distortion. Let go. Number three, if you feel you know something or others are wrong or you're better than, you are stuck in your perception. Slow down. Align your inner world to the outer world. Align to objective reality. If you do know then there's no need to defend and attack. Let go. If you feel you know something and you have to defend it and fight for it and get everybody else to see what you believe you know, you don't know it. It's knowledge. And remember, that's a resistance. It's intellectual resistance. The ego is using that to keep you stuck in your subjective reality your perception, your programmed identity, you must let go. And number four, challenge your perception in reality. Challenge it. You believe your reality is true. It's a truth. Yet, always remember this definition. If you are defending something that you believe is true, this is the truth. This is the this is truth. This is what it is. Yet always remember this: to be a truth, it must be true for everyone. If not, it's a belief. It's a program. It's your perception. It's your subjective reality. It's not a truth. It might be your truth but it's not a truth. If in objective reality, your subjective reality doesn't align, you're going to have conflict. And if you think that conflict is because other people can't see your truth, it's not a truth. It can only be a truth if it's true for everyone. We talked about this in episodes in the past on the intersubjective reality. This is where religion is born. The fact is, to have a religion, you have to have at least two people, human beings, with the same reality, subjective reality, the same belief system. If you don't have human beings that have those beliefs, there is no religion. Yet, there's still spirit, there's still energy, there's still the tree, there's still the river, there's still the bird flying, but there's no religion. That's because religion's not a truth. It might be your truth, but for you to impose that on another, it's just your belief. And all beliefs are programs. Challenge your perception. If you really want to grow, challenge it challenge it. It's going to be uncomfortable because you're challenging your reality. And boy, let me tell you, when you do that, that's where growth, real spiritual growth comes from. And number five, this ties right into what I just said, 
be open, have a growth mindset versus a fixed mindset. People that live in a fixed mindset live the same routine year in, year out, and they'll have the same problems year in and year out. They'll have the same complaints. They'll do the same things. They'll have the same issues. Be open. Let go. Move from that restriction state to an expansion state. Try some new things. Just question and be open to something new. That way, you start to change your reality. If you want to change anything in your life, you have to change the routine. To change the routine, you have to change your perception. That perception is held in programming. And it's an illusion of how you see the world. It's not an alignment to what is. You might not like what is. You may not condone what is. You may want to change what is. You may believe it should not be what is. But what is, is objective reality. And for you to fight that, it just keeps you in a red zone stressed out. It doesn't serve you. It doesn't mean you have to be happy. It means you want to create harmony and alignment. So this week, our topic is perspective. And I'm curious on how this will roll out. On Monday with the Super Millennial, David will talk on perspective and the millennial. On Tuesday's Health Huddles, we're going to talk on the perspective of knowledge versus knowing. On Ego Maniac Wednesday, Patrick Garner will bring perspective to the forefront. On Connection Thursday, we're going to talk about visualization. And I'm going to introduce many of you, maybe new or maybe heard of him, Neville Goddard, the teachings of Neville Goddard. On Friday, we will finally continue our book study, Never Finished by David Goggins. I must apologize for all the issues we've been having here. I'm having terrible internet issues. Really been working on fixing them. I just rewired the house again. Hopefully I've got this thing fixed and and I'm hoping that everything will will start to work out for us. But you know, I have to I have to tell you I apologize because again, our internet crashed for Friday's book study and you know, it well, next time Hopefully we'll get it in. We're just about ready to finish that book too. And we're going to start our next book, which will be Michael Singer's new book. So I'll talk about that next week. And then Saturday, we'll close out the week talking perspective with Coach Peggy. So I hope you guys are understanding, enjoy the week and understanding the difference of, you know, what it's like to have a perception and how perception really can, can, um, cause you to be anxious, cause you to be fearful. And if you are feeling those emotions, you are stuck in your perception. And sometimes it's just about letting go. It doesn't mean you're happy. It doesn't mean you condone. It doesn't even mean you're wrong. You're just fighting what is, and it can't serve you because all it does is keeps you in a state of restriction with that base energy fear. In other words, it keeps you stuck in the red zone. That's it for today's show. Our mission here is to create a shift in the planet. You can join us on this mission by simply like, share, subscribe. The links are right below in the show notes. As always, until next time, stay inspired.